Hi guys and welcome back to the Lazy Girls Kitchen. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Maggie and welcome. Today I'm going to share with you how I like to make a croissant berry breakfast bake. I know it sounds delicious, it tastes delicious, it could be one of those things that you leave in the fridge overnight but it could also just be something that you prep that morning so it's just the possibilities are endless so i'm so excited to share it with you if you want to see how it comes together make sure you keep on watching okay so to make this what you're going to need is i just have some cream cheese softened at room temperature berries of your choice i'm just using strawberries and blueberries you're going to need croissants i use these little mini ones but you can use the regular size you're probably going to need about four or five of the bigger ones some vanilla extract milk some lemon zest eggs and then finally some sugar and then here what i have is just um like a casserole dish that i just greased with some good old-fashioned unsalted butter okay so i'm going to use my handheld mixer to just kind of um cream my cream cheese together kind of soften it up even more and then we will start adding in everything else <laughs> Okay, so this is really the best that I could do um, because I really should have let it sit out a lot longer, but I'm in a, I'm, I'm impatient is what I'm trying to say. Okay, you're going to add in your eggs and you're just going to cream these together for a few minutes and then we will continue adding some more stuff in. So my eggs and cream cheese are pretty incorporated. I mean, it's not perfect, but you're still going to be working on it. So don't stress about that. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in my sugar. I only use about a quarter cup because I find that with the berries being in season, they're really sweet. So I don't want to overdo it. So I'm going to cream this together. Also make sure to scrape the sides of your bowls as you're mixing. Um, and then I'll meet you back here in a few minutes. <laughs> Look at this creamy goodness like it's just beautiful and gorgeous I just I can't I'm so excited so now I'm gonna finish it off with the rest so I have about a three quarters of a cup of milk in here I'm not gonna add all of it at once because I don't know if I'll need all of it so I probably just added half a cup right now um, I don't want the mixture super runny so some vanilla and then my favorite oops my favorite ingredient of all times some lemon so we're just gonna less less girl zest some lemon in here oh my gosh look at that oh it smells like a nice sunday morning that. okay so that's good for me i'm gonna mix this together and then we'll move on to the next step i just want to show you the consistency it's not um super runny but it's not like thick you know not like a cheesecake thick it's just i can't even explain it and i didn't end up adding any additional milk because to me this is perfect now how i do it is i kind of layer so i'll do a layer of my croissants and i love the mini ones because i find that they're i don't know just a little bit sweeter and i buy mine at a local supermarket than um than like the ones you would buy that are bigger i don't know i could just be imagining that but whatever all right so this is good for me now what i do is i pour a little bit of the mixture over the first layer just a little bit it's hard to get in there because i'm filming leaving about half of it for the top okay so that's good and i'm gonna just kind of work it in a little bit and once that mixture soaks up into your bread oh you just wait and see i'm gonna go ahead and do the berries in the middle now i do have to say i don't know if i'll use all of the berries which is fine because then i top it with some of the berries after so for me that doesn't affect me at all look at that once they cook too oh that sweet juicy goodness is gonna just burst you just wait and see i like get so excited just talking about it okay maybe a little bit more just so every bite has some berries there we go 
So I used about, I would say, half a pint of blueberries and then half a little pint of um, strawberries. And I have about this much left, which I'll top the remaining um, once it comes out of the oven. So just kind of layer the rest of your croissants. I might need to peel some more, not peel, but like rip up some more. All right, I'm gonna go grab a couple more croissants so that I can finish this up and then I'll meet you here in a few minutes. So this is the croissants that I'm talking about. They're like miniature ones like these. I buy mine at my local stop and shop. Um, there's 20 in here and I used all 20. So I've never, I mean, I've done it with the bigger croissants. I've probably used like six or seven, but they were much bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and now with the remaining cream cheese mixture i'm just gonna pour it all over the top oh it smells so good because of the lemon i can't even tell you like oh it's just like heaven in here look at that just gonna be nice just kind of make sure it soaks into everything All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover this with saran wrap and I'm gonna put this into the fridge for at least one hour, at least one hour. You can do this overnight. I don't find it necessary, but you totally can. It's not gonna affect the outcome in one bit. Um, and then I will meet you here to show you what it looks like after one hour. And we will pop this baby into the oven. Alrighty, so my little casserole thing has been in the um fridge for an hour look at this beauty just like just full can you see that when i press on it i don't know if you can hold on right here oh that goodness comes up and it's not runny it's still pretty thick which is what you want like the mixture shouldn't be like water so i just went ahead and kind of patted it down just to make sure all that moisture comes back up and now your oven should be preheated to 350 degrees i put this on a baking sheet so that it's easier to take in and out of the oven you're going to bake this for about 35 to 40 minutes until the top is nice and golden brown and bubbly and then you can go ahead and enjoy mm -hmm. 